guys, my name is Brandon and welcome to Audio Addiction where you can find latest album reviews. You can find our band interviews and you can find live coverage of the concerts that we get. Um, I will be posting, I actually just posted a show thoughts on A Lot Like Birds. If you have not checked that one out, definitely do so. Um, I'll also be posting Hearts Like Lions set as well as um, Owl set if you have not checked those bands out. I definitely recommend you check those guys out. Um, but I will be posting those probably this weekend. Um, around that time, I hope to have those out as well as I'll be posting a lot of um, album reviews. This one in particular, seasonal, as well as um, before the street lights and uh, my lonely heart. Uh, to well, before the street lights is a Kentucky band, as well as um, my lonely heart is a New Jersey local band to me. So um, I will try to be posting those as soon as I can get those out. Um, so definitely be stoked on that. We'll probably be going out either tomorrow or Friday. Um, so definitely be on the lookout for that as well. I'm really stoked on that. So um, I want to give a shout out to Lauren at Inception Press for sending me this record early. Thank you so much. And I hope to be working more with you in the future. So without further ado, tonight we're going to be talking about Seasonal's new EP, Bloom. So I feel like this band is fairly unknown. They are from the UK. They kind of have that pop rock sort of um, alternative, even sort of indie vibes in there, mixed in there as well. Um, it's a very diverse record, I would say, without a doubt. Um, it's cool to see, you know, I love international bands. I love listening to them. I feel like they offer a different flavor, different spin. There's always something you know, that affects them in a different way that is if you would hear an American band. So I do definitely like when I get international bands, um, especially England. I feel like they have been just killing it as of late. That scene has been really popular. Um, some really solid bands have come out of the UK. So I'm definitely stoked to see, always stoked and always am looking out for, uh, you know, the next big UK band. Uh, that I can find out about. So I'm going to go through each track, give you my thoughts on them, kind of break them all down. I'll give some pros and cons of the record as a whole, and then I'll give an overall rating. So um, definitely, if you could check out this band, I will try to leave an end card where you can check all of their music and stuff out, um, as well as I'll leave links in the description where you can give them a follow or a like. So um, we're getting into the first track, which is Certainty. This is the first single that they released. They also released a music video with this one as well. Um, so definitely be on the lookout for that. Um, it's definitely one of my favorite tracks off the record. I really like the sort of soft intro with the guitars and vocals. I, I always think that's a tried and true sort of um, method of doing intros. I definitely feel like this reminds me a lot of nostalgic bands like Mayday Parade, Yellow Card, um, just to name a few, as well as a newer band called Grayscale um, off Fearless. I feel like they definitely have that sort of vibe as well. Uh, I'm really liking the cool harmonizations throughout. Um, I think it's a really solid point um, throughout this record. Um, you can definitely hear it a lot, especially in this track in particular. You can hear it a lot here. Um, I'm liking the vocalist as well. I just like his tonality of his vocals and just maybe just his runs and the type of melodies he comes up with. I feel like they're really solid. Um, the chorus is definitely super catchy as well. Um, I definitely like that the guitars have kind of this reverby sort of ambient sound to them. I feel like it kind of adds to the the track as well as just you know adding some fullness to the track as well. I feel like this song is very cohesive. Um, I would say it's one of the more cohesive tracks off the record, and I definitely feel like it's a great opener to this record, um, without a doubt. So we're gonna move it into track number two, which is headphones. Um, I really like the nostalgic vibes of this track as well. Um, I definitely feel like a lot of these tracks have these sort of vibes that I'm like, oh, well, you know, it definitely harkens back to bands that I grew up listening to. So it definitely has those vibes as well. Um, I like that this, you know, just the chorus in this track um, and just choruses throughout this record, I feel like they have been really solid. I feel like they're concocted very well um, and they just have this sort of just... I don't know, they have this sort of great structure to them um, that always work very well. So they definitely found that formula out for sure. Um, definitely like the vocalist, vocals a little bit more in this track. I feel like they're a bit more diverse. I feel like they were a bit more expansive as well. Um, I felt like the last track 
was really solid, um, but I felt like the vocals weren't kind of just out there, and I f definitely feel like in this track, they're definitely more out there and a little bit more thought out, so um, in terms of just like lows, mids, highs, I feel like there's definitely like a cool range that this guy has uh, without a doubt. I feel like, again, the harmonization on this track is really solid as well. Um, and I feel like the instrumentations, while they are a bit straightforward, I think they are really solid. Um, and they kind of just don't add, but they don't take away from the track in any way. So um, in that regard, I feel like the things that need to shine and need to stand out do. And I feel like they don't kind of impede that work. Um, but I do feel like there needs to be a little bit more spice, a little bit more like um, just a little bit more oomph to the track. I feel like um, while it being solid and being straightforward just lacks that overall feeling to it, at least in my opinion. So we're going to move into track number three, which is these games. This one is one of my favorite tracks off the record as well. Um, really liking how everything starts off in like the distance. It has this sort of space to it um, and just has a sort of reverby ambient feel to it. But then it just kind of flows right into the track. Um, and I felt like it wasn't off. It wasn't. It did feel odd initially, but um, I feel like after a few listens, it doesn't seem as just odd and perplexing, at least in my opinion. I felt like you know upon first listen i was like you know what's up with that but um i feel like it worked out very well and definitely is a rem it's definitely a track that you'll remember without a doubt so um i feel like this track definitely has a little bit more grit to it has a little bit more like um to it um which i enjoy because the two tracks in uh the first track certainty as well as headphones they felt very more poppy and this one feels more rock based um at least in my opinion so i definitely enjoy that um, I also enjoy the guitar riffs in this track a lot more as well, especially in the pre-chorus. Um, I think they're really solid. Speaking about things being solid, I think they wrote another really incredible solid uh, chorus as well. Um, I'm really liking the slowdown after the fir first chorus. I feel like um, it kind of adds this other dimension to the track. While it only be like a little piece of it, I feel like it kind of just adds a diversity to the band that you wouldn't have expected. So... In that regard, I really enjoyed that. So we're going to move it into track number four, which is Ranger. I really like the cool guitar intro in this track as well. Um, I like how the bass kind of fills out this track. Um, it adds some depth to it as well. Um, it doesn't feel very, uh, I guess, um, it doesn't feel very empty. It feels very full, and I feel like the bass kind of fills in that dead space like I've been mentioning um, on this track. This one definitely has that sort of transit vibe to me. Um, as well as it's just a transit track, maybe like sped up a little bit, um, but definitely has those sorts of vibes to it as well. Um, I feel like instrumentally, this is a really solid track as well. I like the use of dynamics um, throughout the track. It feels very full, um, but it also has this sort of space to it as well. Um, and I really like the cool little uh, drum solo that it, that they added in the bridge. I think that's really solid as well. Um, and it gives the chance, you know, for the drummer to kind of have his own little time there. So really enjoy that. So we're going to move into the last track of the record, which is Homeward. Um, this one's one of my favorites as well, just because it's kind of a slower track. Um, but um, I'm really liking the instrumentation a lot. I feel like, you know, towards the second half, it kind of picks up um, and definitely goes into a more soaring direction. I just like the progression of the track. Um, I think it's very solid in that regard. Um, I think vocally, it's another really solid track. Um, really can't say more. I feel like um, Headphones was probably the most diverse diverse tracks in terms of vocals. Um, but other than that, I think it's really good, especially towards the last bridge um, sort of outro part. I feel like they really kind of nailed it in that regard. Um, and I definitely feel like it's a solid song to end the record off with. So I'm going to give some pros and cons um, of this entire record. Some pros, I really think they brought home those sort of nostalgic vibes that i've been craving just in bands in general um it definitely has those sort of you know bands that you know and love that kind of will you'll remember when you're listening to this album and maybe they might have those same influences as well so it kind of works out in that regard i think con wise um it feels kind of bland in certain spots like it doesn't feel like you know obviously this is their first record um and uh I feel like 
it, they definitely need some time to grow. Uh, certainly, I do think that it's a solid record. Certainly, for just being a not knowing about them, not hearing about them whatsoever. I think it was definitely a solid effort on their regard. Um, but I definitely feel like it needs a little bit of work to kind of feel a little bit full, feel a little bit more like seasonal um, in that regard. But otherwise, I think it's a good starting point for this band. Uh, and I definitely can see them getting a little bit bigger over time uh, without a doubt. So my overall rating for Seasonal's Bloom EP, I'm going to be giving it an 8 out of 10. I think it's definitely one that you should check out. Um, I think it flows very well track from track, um, but I do think it needs some work. It definitely needs some, like, it definitely needs to be honed in a little bit more. I think it's a really solid record, I think, for being a first record, but I'm definitely expecting to see some you know, more things in the future in terms of their band. So, um, in the, let me know in the comments if you've heard of this band before. Um, if you haven't, definitely go check them out. Check out Certainty, uh, their music video. I think it's really solid. Um, and definitely let me know what your thoughts are on the EP if you do, and do check it out. Um, I definitely think it's a solid one that you should at least listen to. So, um, like I said, if you enjoy what we do, Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, make sure to hit that like button as well. If you enjoy us a lot, we have a merch store. If you'd like to pick up a shirt, that'd be really great, and uh, I would greatly appreciate it. So, my name is Brandon, and we hope you got your fix, and we'll be talking with you soon. Peace. Hey, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, thanks for watching, of course. Uh, if you enjoy what we do, make sure to go check out the other series we do. We do album reviews, we do band interviews, and we do live videos, so definitely go check that out. Um, hit that subscribe button, it really helps our channel, helps us grow. Make sure to hit that like button as well. Uh, go follow us on social media, that's all down below. We try to keep that as updated as possible. We also made a new website where we'll be posting photos of upcoming concerts and stuff like that, which you can go check out at audioaddictionmedia.com and come get your fix with us, guys. Talk to you later. Deuces!